things about the Gospel of Matthew is how the first five chapters of Matthew correlate to the first five books of the Bible. First book of the Bible being the book of Genesis, which is all about beginnings, who begat who. Well, the first chapter of Matthew is all about the beginnings, who begat who in the lineage of Jesus. Second book of the Bible, it's the book of Exodus, where the Hebrew people find themselves in captivity in the land of Egypt. And there's a crazy king that kills all the Hebrew boys to and under, but one Hebrew boy, Moses, miraculously survives. Well, in Matthew chapter 2, there's a crazy king. His name is Herod. He has all the Hebrew boys to and under slaughtered, but Jesus miraculously survives, and he goes down to Egypt. The third book of the Bible is the book of Leviticus, and that book is all about fulfilling all righteousness, ceremonial cleansing and rituals. Well, the third chapter of Matthew, Jesus comes to fulfill all righteousness by being baptized in water through John the Baptist. Fourth book of the Bible is the book of Numbers. And the book of Numbers is where the Hebrew people are in the wilderness and they are tested for 40 years, but they fail the test. The fourth chapter of the book of Matthew is where Jesus goes to the wilderness for 40 days and for 40 nights, but he doesn't fail the test, he passes the test. And then the fifth and final book of the Torah, which is in the Old Testament, is the book of Deuteronomy, which is the book all about the law. And what's so beautiful in Matthew chapter 5, Jesus preaches a sermon on the mount where he properly interprets the law. I don't know about you. I just think that's really cool. The first five books of the Bible, the first five chapters of Matthew coming together.